Today I'm at the University of Limerick for the 2023 Tag World Cup. David, this is incredibly impressive. I know it's the first time that this event has taken place in the Northern Hemisphere. It's taken six years of work to get here. Uh, it's all born out of having the Pig and Porter here on campus and a partnership with Old Crescent and the success they've had there over the years. We put this bid together with event ambassadors based in Limerick and we sold the idea really of, of bringing everything here in a one-stop shop solution for the first time from the Southern Hemisphere, bring it out of Australia uh, to Limerick. Thankfully, we, we won the bid to bring it here. This looks so diverse and there's so many people from all over the world here. Yeah, we have about 2,000 people staying on campus here, 1,800 players from 18 nations, everywhere from Australia, Lebanon, USA, France, and some of these countries also bring heritage teams as well. So, you know, Irish living in Australia will have their team, Irish exiles, they'll come over. So it brings so much culture here so much experience, international experience, and what a great festival atmosphere all, all together in one place. What makes tag rugby such a special sport? Tag rugby is a fantastic sport because it's non-contact. So men and ladies wear tags that are attached to their hips, and it's obviously you played with a rugby ball, but there's non-contact. It's extremely inclusive, so men and ladies play together. In fact, mixed open teams are the most popular. You've got tag all over the world, wherever you want it. It's brilliant. Your husband, Perry Haddock, founded this sport 25 years ago. How does it feel to be in Limerick and experience this on his behalf? Amazing. Yeah, just seeing everyone uh, just in the arena the other night. The opening ceremony was unbelievable and just looking at different countries enjoying the sport. And it's nice, you know, even the um, alliance teams here, there's been people from all different countries playing in the one team. And I think, you know, most of them have got on really well and had a great experience. What's it like to come to Limerick to, to take part in this event? Oh, it's just absolutely incredible. You know, the, the event itself, all the camaraderie, you know, the rugby, the spirit, all the different nations coming together just for one sport and, and, and everyone's just got this positive mentality. Limerick's been marvellous, wonderful hosts. You know, everyone's been great from the supermarket to the pub to the pitch to the refs. It's just been fabulous. What's the cultural and social impact of bringing an event like this to the Midwest? Well, I suppose from an economic impact perspective, it's worth almost two million to the local economy. But from a social impact perspective, seeing an event like this that promotes gender equality, brings people from all over the world to our city and our county. I don't think there's any business in Limerick that hasn't felt the impact of this event over the last week. So our partners in Fall to Ireland, ourselves and the Shannon Region Conference and Sports Bureau, Limerick City and County Council and the events and sports team here at the University of Limerick, we all work in partnership all year round to bring an event like this to its culmination. So where do you see the sport developing in the future? The future is extremely bright for Tag Rugby internationally. We've got nations that are participating here for the first time. Our South African team have received national colours. So that's a first for Tag. They are seen as Olympic athletes now. So Perry Haddock's vision way back when, 20 odd five years ago, I don't think he would have imagined what, uh, what would have happened and how popular this game has become. It is becoming a truly international sport. The highlight for me is that everyone stayed on the same campus. UL's facilities are next level. What does this mean for bringing other large scale events of this nature to the Midwest in the future? It's huge. Other international federations, other national governing bodies, event ambassadors will see what Limerick, the University of Limerick and the Greater Shannon Region has to offer uh, in terms of their events. It's everyone in one place, it's easily accessible, we're very close to the Wild Atlantic Way and look what we have to offer here. Nowhere else really in, in Europe can offer things like this. You know. Congratulations David, this is pretty impressive. You've been watching ILoveLimerick.com and this has been the 2023 Tag World Cup. We'll see you soon. Yeah!